Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we can set up a Facebook ad that'll generate home buyer leads in about 15 minutes. We're gonna be able to set this up so quickly because we're gonna use a template that I created in Canva that you're gonna be able to download and use for yourself. And we're gonna be able to copy and paste the ad right off of a cheat sheet that I've already got prepared. We're also going to show you how Meta just disclosed some information that shows us how we can get better results with less targeting when we're using the special ad category. So let's go ahead and get this done. It'll only take about 15 minutes. We're going to jump over to my ads manager. Okay, so the first thing you do when you jump over to your ads manager is hit the create button. And here you can choose your campaign objective and we're going to choose engagement because as you all know i really love messenger ads because they do get you that instant engagement so that you don't have to generate a lead and then turn around and try to call it later uh, you've got people right there on messenger live with you so that they can opt into live chat with you or set up an appointment or whatever so let's go ahead and choose engagement and hit continue Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and name the campaign. We'll go ahead and type into this field. And as far as categories go, we're gonna choose housing. That's the special ad category that we have to use. And the rest of this stuff is okay, click next. So now we're in the ad set. So we're gonna go ahead and name the ad set. And let's see, everything here is good. So we're gonna scroll down, make sure we select the right Facebook page. Okay, we come down here to budget. You can start at 10 bucks a day and see if that works for you in your market. All right, so audience. Here's where we're gonna use this drop down, and we're gonna select people living in this location. Now, as far as locations go, this is where we're going to go ahead and put the city that we want to run our ads in. You can select more than one city. You can adjust the radius around the city by using this slider, by clicking on it and then adjusting the slider. Okay, now for the targeting. You, because we're using special ad category, we can't use age or gender. And here in the detailed targeting, I'm gonna go ahead and show you something. This is information straight from Meta. It's brand new information where they've kind of released some um, ideas about how to use broad targeting, how you can improve your results with broad targeting. So here you can see why you'd want to choose broad targeting because you can get 12% lower cost per, per result, which is just great, right? Who doesn't want that? And that's 12% lower than those who did not use broad targeting. So basically you're going to be looking at your audience and uh, just using uh, location targeting because here in special ad category, we can't use age or gender. So basically, when you're looking at creating your audience, you're gonna exclude detailed targeting, which means you're gonna be avoiding using interest-based targeting parameters, right? So there's no detailed targeting in there. You're gonna to wanna to have as large, a large of audience as possible for your area. Now here you can see a local law office was able to get 88% more messages from broad targeting at a 46% lower cost per result. So I don't know, that's some pretty compelling evidence straight from Meta. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and leave our targeting broad and not put any detailed targeting in there. Because right now we've got 962,000 people to a million people in there. And when we choose Zillow as an interest, perhaps, you can see it drops by half. Now we're down to 474, uh, half a million people. So that cuts your targeted audience in half when you use detailed targeting. So just for grins and giggles, let's look up what percentage of Americans are homeowners, right? So what percentage of America are, are renters? So 35% or 34% of people in the US are renting right now. So when you cut that audience in half, you know, you're suddenly cutting down your ability to reach people that could potentially be interested in your offer. So that's why I think it's a good idea to follow their advice and use that broad targeting. 
because you want to have as big as audience as possible looking at your ad. Now your targeting can take place in the ad itself. So we're not going to worry too much about that anymore. Let's just go ahead and look at the placements. So this is where our ad is going to be seen, right? So we're going to want to get rid of things that don't have the right uh, image uh, size. And these are nine by 16. So we're going to get rid of those. We're gonna get rid of, let's see, these are the right size. We're gonna to wanna to get rid of anything that isn't gonna look good in a reasonably square uh, place, like this, for example. These are that nine by 16 aspect ratio, so we're gonna get rid of that. Um, that should do it. Now let's go ahead and click Next. Now we're in the Ad area, so we're gonna go ahead and name our ad. And now we're gonna scroll down a little bit here and this is where we are gonna be setting up the ad video. So we're gonna add video and it says add media. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and upload the video that I've got created. See, right here in my course at 24 seven Rocket Media, I've got a home buyer leads course and what I've done is I've created a PDF document that has got 14 pages of different ad ideas, images and different videos that you can use. So here is an ad copy that I can copy and paste as well as a video right here that I created in Canva. Now this is fully customizable if you like. So let's go ahead and use that template. So we download it and it pops right into our Canva account and I'm just gonna use it the way it is. So I'm just gonna hit download. I don't need to change any of the images or colors. So I'm gonna hit download and wait for that to download here just a sec. If you wanna get a copy of this template that you can use in your ads, just go ahead and go over to 247rocketmedia.com and book an appointment with me where I'll show you this whole system and I'll get you a complimentary copy of this template. There we go, it's down there at the bottom of the screen. So let's go ahead, it's in our download folder. Now we can click the upload button and grab it out of our download folder. That'll upload here and we can make sure it's highlighted and click the next button. And there's what the preview looks like. We'll click done and there it is in our preview right there. And because it's the correct aspect ratio for the placements, it's gonna look great. So now the primary text. Let's go ahead and go back to our cheat sheet in the course. There we go. We can go ahead and uh, copy that information right off that cheat sheet and paste it right here in the primary text. Make a few modifications if you like, no worries. Let's go ahead and copy our call to action. We're gonna put that over here in the headline area of the ad. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so here's where the magic of Messenger ads comes into play, because right here where it says message template and you see the button clicked start conversations, that's where you can use Messenger to instantly engage with people immediately so that you're not generating leads that you have to call later. Because hey man, it's 2023, why not use messenger automations to help you sort and qualify your clients as well as make appointments and start live chats with them. Check it out. Everybody can either have an option to chat with you live on messenger or they can set an appointment with you so you don't have to call leads anymore. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we are at 24 seven Rocket Media in my home buyer course. This is a one button template that you can go ahead and download and customize. And I show you how to do it all right here in this very affordable course where you got the uh, ad and ad copy from. Once somebody pushes that send message button on your ad, it's gonna start an automated conversation that has automated follow-ups and even opts them in for long-term nurture. The template that you download in my course looks like this. It asks some pre-qualifying questions as you go through the flow. Now each one of these questions has its own automated follow-up just in case they don't complete it, it checks with them to see. When they're completed with the flow, it asks them to chat in Messenger or set an appointment. If they don't take us up on it, it has automated follow-up to make sure that they're not interested in taking us up on our offer. And even if they opt out, we still say, hey, if you'd like to ask a question, you can. Then if they still don't take us up on the offer, we get them to opt in on some homebuyer education or credit repair information content that you can use to educate and empower and inspire people.
Now, along the way, you're always notified every step along the way. Anytime somebody does something notable in your chat bot, you're gonna be notified so you know to jump in there and look at the lead and interact with your prospect. Now, how we get that chat bot to fire off is something called a keyword. And you can see right here, I've got a few of them already set up, but let's set one up right now. So here we are in ManyChat setting up that keyword that's gonna fire off our bot. So we're gonna set this up, plus keyword. Now we're gonna add text. I always use a little dash in front of the words so that, that way it doesn't get confused with any other keywords that you might possibly uh, make that uh, have similar words in them. So here we are, dash, low down payment. So we're just gonna go ahead and X out of that little warning sign there. So there's our keyword, low down payment. Now we'll go ahead and uh, select the channel. Get rid of this again. Nah, don't show me this again. We're gonna select Messenger and hit Create. Now we're gonna select existing because we've already got a flow created, right? So we don't have to have something fire off that's new. We don't have to create anything because it's already there. So we're gonna go over to our home buyer funnel. We can see the preview right there and select it. Now, anytime somebody hits that low down payment, they're gonna be sent over to our MLO funnels main home buyer flow. It's activated, perfect. Now we can go back and edit our conversation. So right here you can see they've got some pre-existing quick reply buttons, but we're gonna go ahead and customize this so it can be used for our home buyer ad. We'll go ahead and leave our phone number there showing, that's fine. We're gonna select quick replies, and go ahead and put in our keyword right there, dash low down payment. Let's go ahead and name our template so we can save it for the next time we wanna use it. And we can click save and finish. Okay, so everything looks good over here in our preview. Let's go ahead and hit publish. And now we can go ahead and X out of it here. And we're all set. You can see everything is processing and it can take anywhere from two to 24 hours for Facebook to approve your ad. So go ahead and be patient. So yeah, creating Facebook ads that generate home buyer leads is really that easy, right? I mean, I can teach you how to do it in less than 15 minutes, and once you get used to doing this, you could just spend maybe an hour or two a week on your marketing and be able to generate lead after lead after lead you know, these are exclusive leads. You can put exactly what you want in the ads. And you know what? I'm here to help. I do have a course available for you over at 247rocketmedia.com if you want. Or if you want to, just go ahead and make an appointment with me on my website and you'll get that free video template that you can import right into Canva and customize it or use it as is, however you like. So, you know, if you're interested in generating your own home buyer leads or home equity line of credit leads, or USDA leads, or VA leads, <laughs> you get the idea. This can be used for anything. So go ahead and reach out to me if you have any questions.